Hey everybody. Uh, anybody and everybody, and specifically me tonight. Hello. How's it going? Since I last spoke to you downstairs. Anyway, um, hey everybody, welcome back to Cathy Rain. We left off at the storage lockers, where we happen to have a singular key with a name on it. Oh, these arrows again. Here we are. Key with tag. Let's have a look at it again. What does it tell us? A small key with a tag attached, labeled storage A5. Right. We need to find A5. Now this looks, I mean, in a rather dodgy pixel way, this looks like A5 already. It could be 3, 4, or 5. But either way, we also have one from our grandfather. It's a small key, fairly modern design. No identifying tag, unfortunately. Yeah, which happens to look just the same, but there's no tag on it telling us which one it is. We found that in the suitcase our grandfather had, I believe. Um yeah, so let's just uh let's just get looking at them, I guess. Storage A5. This is it. Well, wow, there we go. That was easy enough. We'll combine this with the keyhole, I assume. And this looks like the stolen art. Where is it? Paint thinner. Well, I know Where what it says, but still. Where is it? Was he trying to uncover something in these paintings? Oh, so did he reckon there was something in the background or something? There's the light switch. One second. We know this is here. I'm going to see if the other key happens to work with any of these other lockers nearby. Uh, combine. Doesn't fit. Must be for a different unit. Good to know. Okay. Keep going. I don't... I want to be banks it, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh -huh. A3. Okay. Cat <laughs> here. In my face. Right, let's check all this first in case there's some kind of like Easter egg or something. I don't want to have not done this if we have the opportunity to. Pile of junk, usually. Nothing useful. Okay. Just double check here. Empty. Found a tape in there. Okay. I thought you were going to say that there's like, also something else. They were both empty. A custody um, appeal form for me, July fifteenth, nineteen eighty one. Oh. I don't believe it. He. He tried to get me back from my mom, right to the very end. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Kathy. First of all, done that annoying text thing. Here we are. Right. Okay. Just some old newspapers in those. <laughs> Back to sounding normal. So that's where Grandpa's old uniform went. I wondered why I didn't see it in the attic. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, the, well, someone mentioned the space bar previously. Yeah, and that's all we've got. Okay. Oh, so I guess we'll see what the tape says. I do that wrong. Oh no, it appears to be in there. So, remove to examine. Oh yeah, of course, because you have to hit play. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log Part Four. August eighth, nineteen eighty one. Okay. The area appears to be circular with along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. Right. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the source. By severing the link, perhaps I can save them. Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. 
I'm standing in front of a huge black hole <laughs> in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. That's when I wake up. Or does that old man sound really young? Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to comment on that, but yeah, <laughs> endothermic reactions, I love them. Um, okay, so the man in red was in his dreams, telling him essentially to uh, kill himself, and then he'd wake up. If you can hear any rumbling, it's my stomach. Shut up, tummy. Um, so what? Right, he was working in an area, probably to be fair, in the woods. Something to do with the pictures. Okay, right. Well, we got what's in that locker. That's uh, not the most important, I don't think, necessarily right now. But I wanted to make sure we got it before we push anything ahead. Have a look around here. I don't believe this. They're ruined. <laughs> Stares around blankly. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. Right, okay. Yonk the this paint might come in handy. We're going to go ruin the last painting. But what was he looking for? He hasn't explained that in the slightest. I mean, this isn't really useful to us. We come all this way just for some paint thinner? I want to see if we can scroll any further than this way. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, hang on. Uh, also, oh yeah, that is the bottom of okay. oh, uh, extract. There's no actual. Uh, we can't do anything with the uh, with the paperwork on in custody. Oh, I missed exit. <laughs> okay, the first lock. Right, that was a key from the priest. So, because he, he's the one that commissioned the theft of the art from the uh, from the people up here, the black hats. We can't go see them again for some reason. Uh, I assume that part of the story is done. Um, yeah, so he was looking for something in the paintings, something that obviously our grandfather and I reckon. See, I reckon Charles Ward is, wasn't telling us all, all he knows, but something our grandfather seemed to recognise in the paintings gave him hints as to what he was investigating. And the priest was also looking for it. Oh, enjoying the scenery. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, you can't see it. I, I just got an achievement for enjoying the scenery. I'm spending too long on this screen, obviously. Um, yeah, so obviously whatever he was expecting to find wasn't in those. And the last one is going to be at the lake cabin. We haven't seen the, the son again. I can't remember his name now, damn it. But, um... He knows the man in red. Hopefully, he's not. Thank you. Okay, never mind. Uh, thankfully, he's Anybody not. Anybody uh, home? In any danger of working with the priest? Guess not. Locked. Hmm. It's a simple tumbler lock. Looks empty now. Right. Okay. By which I hope she means like as in there's just no one at home. Oh yeah, we did this earlier. Um, essentially a combination. Nice. Somehow lucked out there. <laughs> After the first few, that one worked. Okay. Oh yeah. Have a quick look. Painting antlers. Oh, I think we looked at the same before. It's I feel really bad. By Lily Myers. We know. We we have seen this before. I don't really want to put anything on it, but I feel like the plot is gonna just say, look, this is what you're doing. Sorry, Sue. <laughs> oh. Rick. A hidden picture. I don't think that's how paint thinner works, to be fair, but whatever. Oh my god, that's Nathan! 
Uh, the brother, I guess. He's holding a girl underwater. It must be Lily. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Oh. Lily wrote a suicide note, so either she planned this or, or saw it. Right. So she, okay, it's probably obvious by now, but so she thought, she saw the fact that she was going to die. She was like some kind of prophet of sorts. But she didn't want her simple brother to get in trouble. So she wrote the note so that he wouldn't look like he did it. But that begs the question, why did he do it? Was it the behest of the man in red? Or someone else? Or is he just... I got it, hang on. What can, what can we do with it? Does she just look at it? Nathan is drowning Lily in the lake. But well, okay. Just want to make sure she doesn't like pick it up as evidence or something. It's a bit big, but you know, people stuff bigger in their trousers in these games. Oh. Here he is. Nathan. Yes. I know about Lily, Nathan. I like Lily. Nathan, tell me what happened the day Lily died. I don't know. It's okay, Nathan. I'm a friend. I know the Red Man, too. You... you do? Yes. He told me to ask you about what happened to Lily. He said that you would tell me the truth, because you are honest. You're honest, aren't you, Nathan? Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. She said I had to. She had painted it, and everything she painted was supposed to happen. Oh, so it practically was suicide anyway. I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. Why? But the Red Man says it was an accident, and that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. Yeah. It's a sort of a weird twist as well, really. It's sort of a, a twisty turn for a second. They did. Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? Good to know. And she talks back? Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. You promise not to tell Mama? I won't. I promise. Take me there. Is she going to be the three lights? Okay. <laughs> like a twisty turny thing, exactly. See? <sighs> mm. Get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. <laughs> no, they're nice. He's clearly been dealing with this longer than you know. Not the first time, obviously. Ooh, that's an annoying noise, though. Look! Maybe they can't affect him for some reason. But. Poor little Mender met her end. Witnessed so much she could not comprehend. Oh, the Mender was Lily, wasn't it? That's what the uh, the man in the asylum called her, or the sanitarium, or whatever they called it. Claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god. Struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. God and clawed. Okay. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. It was a heartbreaking theatre of the absurd. Getting Richard O'Brien vibes from this man. <laughs> oh. There, there. You're being dramatic. Oh, that's uh, that's. Oh, this is the priest's uh, like back room where we found the key. That's uh, Father Bill's painting. 
No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Ooh. Astute observation, Bill. This room does hold the key. Well then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. <laughs> Jesus. No, I don't think he was Jesus. Nathan? How long was I out? Nathan could have at least waited round till you came too. That's just rude. Yeah. Did you change? No, it didn't. Okay. Um, well, it's dark, I guess, now. Was it? No, it was dark when we met, wasn't it? That seemed like the end of the day. Dark, uh, okay. Well, it was pretty obvious we head to the church now. That room holds the key. Various stuff. Just old furniture and boxes filled with random junk. Okay. There they are again, watching my every move in this place. Hmm. Think about it for a second. I wonder what the church was like back when Father Bill was in charge. Well, prosperous, apparently. A hidden safe. There's also a poem here, written by Father Bill. I copied it to my notepad. What the... Uh... I'm sure there's a hidden meaning in this, but I think I'm missing something in order to make sense of it. Right, okay. Lie in the center, the mark of the Lord. My wife gazes down as my son stand below. Okay. I witnessed three dawns, felt warmth on my skin, and a radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. From east to west, I touched every soul, from lasting to brief, their parts made a whole. Right, okay. Oh, hang on. Picture. Who's this of? A photo of a younger father, Bill, with two boys. Probably Isaac and his brother. Right, okay. What's in the cabinet? Locked. Yes, it's. Look at the desk. I've searched that already. Damn it. Yeah, but search it again. You're looking for new things now. Um, <laughs> I love that description. Various stuff. Hmm. We're looking out for. It's an altar. You know, the place where they put the sacrificed goats, kids, and other crap. Impressive window. There's no doubt about it. Those are the smoky lights. Yeah. Which is apparently Lily. Mausoleum puzzle vibes from that poem? Oh. I see. Yes, yes, you're right. Okay, let's head to the mausoleum. Have a look. Hmm, okay. This isn't a bad lead-in, but it does just sort of take its time. So I've just got no control up until now. There we go. Right. Uh, enter the mausoleum. Okay. Right. In the text, Father oh. Bill's family members are used as reference points. There we go, spot on. See? You're doing it again. Could he be referring to the physical layout of the graves? Well, I assume so. 
I copy the grave layout to my notebook next to the poem. Oh, blimey, okay. right, okay. These graves must somehow correspond to Father Bill's poem. Let's see if I can figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, a lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. Wave gazes down, my son stand below. Barbara gazes down to Joshua and Isaac. Center above, below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? Um, well, yes, that was what I thought I was aiming for. No, that connection doesn't make sense to me. Right, okay. Um... How do we know these people are... connected to each other? Because it doesn't say who's who, just as in... You know, but it just gives a name. Whereas I'm sure before, when we looked at them, we said, oh, you know, his grandfather, his father, and so on. See, we know William is his father, died in 83. Joshua and Isaac? A line in the centre, the mark of the Lord. That bit that gets me, the mark of the Lord of the cross? Or for him, it's three orbs, isn't it? No, that connection doesn't make sense to me. No, okay. Oh, Joshua. No, that connection doesn't make sense to me. Well, I'm also not sure, am I... Am I choosing the one that it appears to be? Center above below. Is he defining? Yes, yes, he is, yeah. I think I should figure out the previous part first. Okay, I just want to see if she said anything new. So, I mean, realistically, I could just brute force this. You were thinking of a tri oh, triangle? Like, yes, right, okay, yeah, like the, um... I get ya. Sort of like this kind of thing? Oh, oh, like this. So hang on, so wife gazes down at two sons below, so it has to be a woman above two boys, or men, you know, whichever. So I thought it was either one of these, because these are all blank. But are we choosing the three points, or are we choosing the one point it might reference? That's what I'm slightly confused with. So is it pointing to a singular location, or do we try and map out these things? It says lie at the centre. There's only so much centre you can get, you know. Try. No, that connection. Nope. No, that connection doesn't make sense. Nope. No, oh, that no, connection doesn't. Because there we go. <laughs> no, that. No, that. No, that. Oh my God! Undo the other one. No. No. Right. Okay. So it's n not a singular one. There's more things have to be clicked apparently. My feet are down, and my son stand below. Hmm. Um. What was that? Agatha and Barbara died on the same year. Yeah, then it was uh, eight, 81, 82. Two in eighty three. That's the thing, it doesn't. Uh, well, I don't know from here. Hang on. Isaac <laughs> Jeremiah Price, born March 3rd, 1959. The death date is left blank. 
Right, Arthur okay. Price, born April 11th, 19... Right, okay, I... Joshua David Price, born June 8th, Isaac's brother, perhaps? Right, so Joshua and Isaac are brothers, yes. Barbara Price. Agatha Price, born... William Thomas Father Bill himself. Yeah, okay, yeah. Henrietta Ann Price, Father Bill's wife? Right, so Henrietta is his wife, so his son's mother's it, mother. Ernest Edward Price, Henrietta and Father Bill. Right, so Henrietta, Joshua, and Isaac. Uh, Oh, no, hang on. That combination makes... Uh, what am I... That's not what I was thinking of. Oh, look at it. Here we are. Okay. So Henrietta is the wife. Joshua and Isaac are the brothers? No, that can... No, that... Center and Arthur the Lord. No, that can no, 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 right again. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God, my. I'm honestly just not getting this. I don't, uh... Are we making a triangle? Let's see, the sign of the Lord to me is a cross. You know, it's as simple as that. But he always... He, they worship the three orbs, don't they? But then we can't represent a triangle here, really. Not easily, anyway. It would be like this, you know. So we, we have quite a clear reference to brothers here. Joshua and Isaac. And they would be Henrietta and William's sons. I've chosen all four, I've chosen the three, I've chosen him individually. I don't really follow what exactly it wants. Maybe make a sideways cross. Of course! The sign of the Lord. Seriously? Some of the graves can form the shape of a cross. Oh yeah, but crosses are normally upwards, not sideways. Ugh. Now, if I can only figure out which dates are relevant. Oh my god, seriously? Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, right, okay. Witness three dawns. Three dawns? Not warmth on my skin, their radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. Right, okay. Ninety nine to seventy nine. Two three sixty one three nine. What did she say again? Was it a rele relevant dates or date? How many options am I meant to be clicking here and why? Witness three dawns. See, I, I thought we were going to start moving on to like a different puzzle and it was going to be reference to the sun or something. Like this one seemed like it was talking about the sun. Dawns. It has to be an allegory for something on the graves. In the summer? So born then? Okay. Right, okay. See, I was thinking along the lines of, like, uh, witness three dawns as in saw 
three births. Um, Henrietta. And Isaac. Right, okay. Oh, no, again, I still... But then, what would be the point of recognising that? Because that's not a name, is it, when we're looking at the, the dates? So, I witnessed three dawns. Maybe new moons? No, I don't see a connection here. Okay. Henrietta, Joshua, and Isaac. Three dawns should be three birth dates, but I'm not sure if those are the right ones. Oh, okay. Well, that was a helpful hint, at least. But she's not. She's not sure if those are the right ones. Right, so we're looking at birthdays, not death days. Okay, so that's good. Three dawns should be three birth dates. Well, how are you going to be sure? I mean, surely you just told me they're the wrong ones at that rate. Uh... No, I don't... Oh, okay, so three... Yes! That must be it! Three dawns mean three births, and they're all adjacent to Father Bill's grave. Right, okay, by witnessed he means literally as in the grave is physically close to three other people that have birthdays. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a stretch, logically, but fair enough. I'm sure I'm close now, I just have to somehow narrow down these to the correct number of digits. You're sure? How? How are you sure of that? <laughs> I'm not even sure I got it right and you're telling me it's right. Okay, from, right, so of these, right, so from... East to west. To west, okay. I touched every soul. From lasting to brief, and their parts made a whole. Okay. Last from lasting to brief, right. As in old to young. Hello, Azimuth, you alright? How's it going? You have caught us in the middle of the stumpiest of puzzles. Um, yeah, I'm really struggling with the, the logic on this, but we're, we're somehow, you know, getting through it. How's you, how are you doing, by the way? How's your, how are you feeling? How's your day going? Oh, good. Maybe you can fix this for us. I like puzzles too, but I'm apparently not very good at them. Um, we, we've got these. We've worked through these first two, so ignore them. We have this as a reference to dates. We're apparently, I believe, probably looking for three individual numbers, which we can then essentially triangulate of sorts into a code for a safe. So somehow we have to take these nine numbers using this poem here and turn it into a result. I've got to admit, I'm, uh, it's been, the first two were quite abstract. Um, I mean, that that's kind of cool, but not very helpful with regards to trying to work it out. We have no idea what the hell you're doing. Um... Yes, I was, right, yeah, I was thinking that the parts made whole suggest that but then the parts made whole could literally be a reference to the fact that those parts make the whole code. Um, so it's from lasting to brief, so oldest to youngest. Is it just as seen? Um, well, I assume it's going to be only like a six-digit number. They haven't actually specified. But she said we have to narrow these numbers down to the specific one. And it says from east to west. So I assume, you know, right to left. 
touched every soul. So what? So there's one in all three of them. From lasting to brief, the highest to the lowest. This will be sixty-one. No, I'm pretty sure that's not it. See, I don't. How does she not know? If if it's literally just throwing any of these together, <laughs> how does she not know that? Hang on, let me try um, thirteen and four. I think that's too many digits. Oh yeah, of course it is because it's it's the last one together. <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm sure the year is correct, but I think I messed up the format for the day and the month. Oh, okay. But the year is correct. Right, so it's it's the 61st year. Oh, of course. From lasting to brief, because of course it's it's a date reference. It wants to create a singular whole date, which is then the code we're looking for. Um, okay. So is it this? No, I'm pretty sure. No, okay. About no, the no. Hang on. I think that's too few digits. Yeah. No, that's the wrong button. I meant clear. <laughs> this. Then if it's a date, the it would be at the other end anyway, wouldn't it? So what's the east to west bit? I'm getting that right. Year, month, day? Right, okay. Yeah, but year, month, day would be this one, which we just did. I'm sure the year is correct, but I think I messed up the format for the day and the month. Yeah, because Americans have their date before their month, don't they? So, but I've just tried that one as well. No, I'm pretty sure that's not it. There aren't 30 months. Oh, I, s I see what you mean. Right, of course. So 13 isn't, of course, isn't the month. It's the 11th. So we're looking at... Um, 22? Oh, oh clear. I'm expecting it to highlight for some reason. No, not 33. That's just a mouse click. Come on. No, I'm pretty sure that's not it. Hang on. But then that would be two days, wouldn't it? Or two months? That would be two months. And with no date attached. With no day attached, I mean. 04, 11, let's try it. You've been right no, so far. I'm pretty no, sure okay. that's not it. Sunday is the seventh day. Since when? It's supposed to be the first day. Saturday should be the seventh day. Hang on, right. So we said 61. 1304. And she was like, no, no, I've got that. Essentially, she said she'd got it back to front. She got the format wrong. Sun goes east to west. Yes. So So I'm reading that as goes from right to left. Is that correct? I got that. East to west, yeah. So I'm reading that as year first, sixty one. Because it says from lasting, so highest, to brief. Yeah. Year first. So 11, 22. No, not 33. What's wrong with this mouse? 
from lasting right. to brief. That was it. Okay. Year, month, day. That's got to be it. Yeah, right. Okay. I thought I'd tried that one already, to be honest. And that's why I got slightly confused. I somehow missed that. Oh my god. My brain hurts already. Okay, we did it, people. Problem solved. Let's, uh, let's go back and open the safe and see what's going on. Oh, in case you missed the beginning, there's some all sorts of um, weirdness going on with regards to... We, we went to the storage lockers that we were at the other day, and uh, all the art that had previously been stolen had been thinned out, and there was um, there was essentially nothing left on them. It had just been using paint thinner all over them. It's obvious uh, the priest was looking for something hidden in the pictures. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it really wasn't clear, and I get the feeling at the end of it, um, it was just trial and error uh, that won, so don't worry. Um, yeah, and uh, so we found only one picture was left. That was at the lake cabin. We went back to the lake cabin. We revealed... It's number one, exactly. Underneath was a picture of the brother drowning Lily. And it turns out that when we spoke to him, he, she had told him to do it and left a suicide note because she had foreseen it so it had to come true and um turns out she and the this man in red used to uh where am i going to church used to argue a lot for some reason and then we had like a weird vision with the lights because um the brother knew where the lights were and he calls them lily he he, he speaks to them and reckons that that's her speaking back um so yeah so we encountered the three lights they gave us a vision of the man in red who said um a bunch of gibberish and he said that in this room was the key he pointed towards the the picture and uh, and that's how we got the clues for the mausoleum uh 16 1 11 22 there we go yes found a bunch of torn out bible pages and a tape in there oh no it's gonna be more puzzly isn't it <laughs> Oh, the tape uh, is useful. Hang on, let's have a look at the pages first. Uh, the mending. Right, okay. Yeah, the um, lily is known as the, the mender. Mending is a sacred unity with God and the only way to reach true salvation. Crimson one finds souls, uh, lost souls, on behalf of God. Unshackled by time, he guides them and bestows wisdom upon them. He grants them dreams and visions, preparing, prefer, preparing them for the mending. The living menders must then descend upon the stairs of judgment. Each step reflects a piece of their soul. Then they must face their shadow self, a servant of God who will oppose them at every turn. Lastly, the menders shall perform the three holy sacraments. Three holy sacraments. To unite with God, three holy sacraments must be performed. The atonement of the mother, absolution of the father, and contrition of the son. Contrition, I'm not familiar with that word. Why would you have a picture of that? What the, um, why would she have a picture of her self being drowned by her brother? I think, if that's the question, I think that's because, um, she, she painted what she saw. She essentially was like a, like a prophet of sorts, and, uh, and she was painting some of these things, and, uh, and it just... Yeah, and it, it just happened to be that, you know, she saw that one and it was the most important, so she, she covered it up with another painting. Um, but yeah, her, apparently she was convinced her, her visions had to come true. I don't know why they had to. So uh, she, she sort of coerced her brother into doing it because, you know, he's a bit simple. Um, uh, dictionary definition incoming. In the Roman Catholic Church, the repentance of past sins... Oh, right, okay, during or after confession. Contrition is like repentance. Fair enough. Right, okay, so... Okay, right, okay. God shall then gaze upon the mender, weighing their heart of where they shall be cleansed of sin and be allowed to reach sacred unity. Facebook? Why would you want... What's that got to do with Facebook? Um, Father Bill? That could be. Uh, well, they shall then be allowed to reach sync. Right, okay. The damned shall have their heart consumed and be cast into the abyss. J C L M J R. Well, right, okay. 
Facebook, Facebook it just says FB, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I, that could be Father Bill. J.R. would be Joseph Rain. L.M. Where did we see an M? I don't know. J.C. would be um, not Jesus Christ. Uh, that would be the other... Uh, we saw him. I think he's. I think he's cocky. L. M. Lily Myers, of course. But yeah, I think he. I think J. C. is the. Yeah, sorry, everyone's ahead of me. L. <laughs> M. I can't. I, just, I, I can't get it. I just, yeah, something Cochran. Um. Not Johnny Cochran. Um. But yeah, so that's that. Okay, right. So that. Uh. That's them. Let's see what's on this tape. Oh. The Crimson One. He gets a new name now for some reason. We can't just, you know, remember that's him. Uh, oh no, don't combine. Uh, no, examine. Here we are. The Chewbacca Defender. <laughs> this is William T. Price. My visions concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet. The Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old God, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss they're back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. Okay. We have to stare into the abyss. That's not very helpful, to be honest. In fact, that literally gives us no clue as to what we're doing next. So I assume that uh, if we go and do something, we're going to... Uh... It's an altar. You oh yeah, we looked at that earlier. Is this still locked? It's also rude to stare. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Locked. Locked. So I assume if we, uh, if we leave some kind of... Uh, or perhaps go somewhere else, some kind of cutscene is going to kick in and tell us what we're doing. We're also narrowing down all the places we can go. Um, is it worth going back to the church? Probably not. Let's head to the sheriff's station and speak to the guy out back. We probably we've got a lot more questions now, so let's see if he uh, has anything to enlighten us with. Isaac, here. We are. I have more things to say to you. <laughs> speak what you will, godless one. Uh, da, 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 crimson one. Who is the Crimson One? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. But how can you believe if you won't share the knowledge? You know, that's like saying believe in something. I'm not going to tell you what to believe in until I've told you to believe in it. Don't get it. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. Oh, I get the feeling we all Unnecessary that evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. <laughs> One day you'll understand. Beast. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I'll get you. Beastie. I've got on my side. Oh, it says here we didn't, though. Why did you destroy Lily's paintings? Oh, okay, we can ask about this. Destroy what you think I did. They looked pretty ruined to me. Like an ignorant child, you look only to the surface and not on what lies hidden beneath. Are you implying that the paintings contain some hidden message? Oh, this would probably be a hint if we weren't sure what we were oh, doing yes. in the cabin. Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler. A bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it is my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's your god when you need to when you need to get out of jail? Um if anything we found happens to 
Look what I found Bible in pages? the church, Isaac. Come to gloat, have you? I see that you've added stealing to your list of sins. Honestly, I just want to understand. What does it all mean? The mending? I don't believe you're sincere for a second. I will speak of this no longer. Okay. No, don't need any more. I'm done here. Good. Now go repent, sinner. Hmm. Is it worth talking to these people while we're here? Possibly. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Nah, I don't want to ask. Okay, right. Not interested in that. Bible pages. Is he going to be interested in Bible pages? I don't want to show him. No, okay. Well, gotta go. See ya. See ya. Well, I guess next stop, Grandma. See what she knows. Maybe Eileen's woken up yet. Or we could head back to the lake cabin. Maybe Nathan could tell us more about the crimson one. Maybe something would have happened after we left because he just left us in the middle of the woods. Oh. Sure, let's push the story. Why not? Hi, Grandma. Listen, I found something in this storage unit. Oh? What was it? custody papers with my name on them I was hoping you wouldn't have to see those I need to know what happened grandma <sighs> Sharon was never a good mother to you Kathy I know it was the illness she tried her best it wasn't all bad you don't know the despicable things she and Brian did drugs violence no he didn't get a date he's still tagging him along I guess <laughs> I mean you never know maybe by the end of the game we wanted something better for you but so far he spent uh, a solid what three four days just sat at his desk doing paperwork Joseph started talking to lawyers staying up late at night on the phone trying to find a way some kind of loophole to get you back but eventually we ran out of courts to appeal to and your mother retaliated with a restraining order. And that was it. She had won. I wish things could have been different. I do too, dear. Every day. Now you're getting me close to tears. Let's talk about something else. Okay, Grandma. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Right, okay. I wasn't sure if we were actually just going to be able to speak to her or not. How is she? The same. Don't worry about us. Sure, okay, no problem. <laughs> Have you heard about someone or something called the Crimson One? Goodness, dear. You're giving me the chills. I distinctly recall your grandfather mumbling that word in his sleep. Crimson. <laughs> okay. He did? After he had the injury? Yes, he rarely spoke at all, but that's the single word I can clearly remember. Mm. Strange. It is strange, isn't it? I found these in the church. Do they mean anything to you, Grandma? I'm not sure, dear. Is there anything in particular you'd like to ask me about them? Maybe. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Right, okay, fair enough. So, no basically that okay okay that's all i need good luck we're done here grandma Eileen. i'm sorry e oh, okay i thought she was gonna try and <laughs> ask her questions <laughs> like, snap out of it <laughs> i need you to answer this question for me right okay let's go to the lake cabin and see what's going to be happening there, because that's, like I said, we're running out of places to go, unless, of course, uh, I've completely missed something at the church, and it's actually meant to be there, and I should never have left at all, and all this is just wandering around chatting to people. But it's never bad to catch up, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's still just open, okay. 
Oh, okay, right, yeah. So not a lot going on here. Did we do this before? Painting Anna's window? Nice view of the lake from here. Yes, okay, we've seen that one. Owl, ashtray, exit. No, oh, okay, it must be back at the church. I must have missed something. Look into the abyss, so maybe there is something there I've somehow missed. Oh, yeah, she calls it the Catmobile, doesn't she? Hmm. Hmm. Because, yeah, that's all the places we've got to go. Unless I should have spoken to the sheriff, which I find highly unlikely, to be fair. Uh, let's head back here. Start again from where we were. And again, this cabinet on the side is oddly locked. It's not, you know, can't open it or anything like that. It's just locked. They don't normally do that in these kind of games unless you can open it at some point. Um, what does this schedule say? Nothing unusual, just a schedule of typical church events. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I keep forgetting the arrow is in the wrong place for me. Combine them. What can we combine them with? Because we can't even go back to the churchyard, so that's kind of weird. Dan shall have their heart continue to be cast into the abyss. Really kind of confused as to what the point of wouldn't the be a church is. without one. What are we aiming for? Locked. Uh, oh, books. Did we look at these books? Books on spirituality and theology. Nothing unusual. Okay. Picture across desk. Various. Yeah, nothing going on. Do we do? Yes, yeah, <laughs> they didn't bother animating it. <laughs> it is always that time. I mean, it's right twice a day at least. It's an altar. Pick up a Bible. Oh, yeah. I really shouldn't. They might burn. It says it's okay this end. Hopefully it's not too much of an effect on you. Oh yes, she's uh, she's all you know, dark soul and all that, so she can't pick up Bibles. Alter Bibles door, exit door, stained glass window. Impressive window. There's no doubt about it. Those are the smoky lights. Yes, yes, they are. Blimey! What? Okay. I'm kind of. Uh... We can combine the notes. Maybe I'm missing something, as in. Uh, last time I clicked on the desk and she said uh, she said she'd already searched it. I haven't looked in the closet for a while. I think that's where we found the locker key, but I shall go back and have another look just to make sure in case something new comes up. Hang on, desk. Uh, Isaac's desk. There might be something useful inside. I've searched that already. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a closet. Definitely large enough for a corpse or two. True, but it's not going to have one. I've searched that already. Right, okay, yes, yeah, we have. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so we, we can... Cross. We looked at the cross, she said, you know... Typical of a church or something like that. Um, head back here and, you know, the last person to speak to is the sheriff. Might have something enlightening to say. Probably not, to be fair. But we'll ask anyway. Rule things out. Yes, he is. Yeah, that's probably now. Hello, sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? 
My all ears. They already arrested Isaac. There's nothing more to say. <laughs> right, okay, calm down. I don't need to ask him that. Okay, fair I enough. I don't want to show him that. I don't want to show him that, okay. I don't want to show Or that. Um. I don't want to show him. I don't want to show Right, okay. He's a complete bust That's about all it. for now. <laughs> Good. Hmm. Yeah, so we can we can use the the papers, like the bits from the Bible. Don't know what we would want to use them on though. Think Father then? Bill must have wanted to hide these for a reason. Do I have to listen to that cassette again? Because I honestly can't remember most of what was happening in it. I already asked him about. Right, okay, using it on him just makes her want to ask him. Okay, hang on. Um, what did he say? Oh, I have to rewind it, seriously. This is William T. Price. My visions concerning my son are troubling. Yeah. troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with yeah. pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the crimson one. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. Okay. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old God, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Mm -hmm. Now, hear these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. I was hoping I'd missed some lines on that, you know, that would be more useful. He just said stare into the abyss. Of what? Where? That Did was he... creepy, whatever it was. That was... <laughs> Apparently something on telly was creepy. Okay. Hmm. Running out of ideas. Um, there's the the attic. Uh, back at grandfather's place. Okay. Uh, back in. We were just there. Is it a mirror? What, the, the abyss? Is there anywhere with a mirror that we've seen? Hang on. Uh, where are we? Find this. Okay. Listen to this, Isaac. Oh! This is William T. Price. My oh, what is this? Nice. Troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet. The Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old God, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. Nice. I honestly didn't think that would work as a mechanic. I don't believe it. Father saw all of this coming. God, have I strayed from the faith? Uh, you have to question that? It's not too late to redeem yourself, Isaac. I've met the Crimson One. We're on the same side. Preposterous. No one has witnessed that apostate since father's death. I've been north of the lake, but he's nowhere to be found. He abandoned us all, and the divine work now rests upon my shoulders. You believe that you are carrying out the work of the Crimson One? Don't think I can't hear that mocking tone of yours. I will speak of this no longer. He mentioned north of the lake. That's part of Conwell Woods. I'll probably have to narrow it down more, but... It's something. Right, okay, cool. Clue! Let us went. 
Uh, maybe... Maybe the police guy here Father, can... Oh. Have you abandoned me? Well, he's kind of dead. Uh, I will atone for my sins. I swear it. God have mercy on me. Yeah, I wonder if Lenny can tell us where this might be. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Mm. Well, gotta go. Maybe not. Okay. Is it something that appears when we get on the bike? It is. Oh, okay. No problem. Conwell would. It looks like it should be Cornwell. Just. Because he looks like he's missing a letter. Here we are. Generic woods location. Okay, we got. Uh, some things. Oh, we got north. South. East. Or west. Interesting. I mean, west would imply we're going back the way we came, but I assume probably not. Um. Okay, um, I haven't had any indications yet as to, hello, you know, a direction, so we'll just head, head north. Why not? What if this is going to be like a Lost Woods situation, where if we take the wrong turn we'll just end up back where we were? Or whether I've got to remember the way we came. <laughs> we'll keep going north, why not? out the bushes, see if anything's different. Nope, apparently not. Oh my god, is this just going to be a huge maze? That's not how that works. What the? How did I get back here? I must be going in circles. Right. So either north twice was correct and the third one was wrong, or it's just, you know, too many in the wrong direction and things go wrong. Let's see. East. There we go. I'm clicking east. There we go. Thank you. I'm just going to go in... So I'm just going to see if this third screen takes us back to where we were. Yes, it does. Okay. Let's try south again then. So it's not specifically twice north, it's just three screens away. Uh, oh, come on. There you go. There we go. Thank you. That keeps flashing. Is that me or what? Okay, no worries. So by narrowing it down, did they just mean run around in circles in the woods until, <laughs> until something comes to mind? Right, okay. Let's mix it up a bit. Oh, actually, the only place I, I didn't go was... Is that different to the first time we, we came? It is, isn't it? Interesting. Yeah, let's just mix it up. Throw it all around the place. Right, okay. Oh my god. Do I have to... Do I have to draw a map? I hope not, but... It could be a problem. Because none of it seems consistent. And that bottom trigger seems very difficult to catch. So we've gone northwest by southeast. This is looking familiar. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So, the abyss, as it were, didn't come up 
on hang on let's go back and check the um back and check the attic something coming to mind as being up on the desk maybe that'll help rule things down um yeah so the abyss didn't come up as a uh, as a topic of conversation so we can't ask people about it it's not a physical object in our inventory so we can't ask them about it that way either we have to find something that's going to tell us there's some stuff here it looks like someone was doing geometry i can't make much sense of it okay just some old bills nothing interesting Lighter coffee cup, shells. The briefcase is empty, we've already been in that a few times. Teddy bear, I've seen it. Okay. I feel like our, uh, our progress is thoroughly stunted in some fashion, whereas before we had a pretty steady flow of things. Any change? Now, very con uh, confusing. Sadly not, dear. A sort of quite a specific series of events, which we've struggling to keep moving. There are a few things I very well. Um We've already asked her about that. No, that's okay, clear. that good luck. Hang on. Uh let's have a look at these Bible pages. Think Father Bill must have wanted to hide these. Yes, yes he did. Read them. Uh, my soul, listen, the shadow self, a servant of God, who will oppose them at every turn, lasting the mendel shall perform the three holy sacraments. May their heart worthy shall be cleansed of sin, allowed to reach their sacred unity. Their heart can seem to be past. Mm. Nothing here seems to reflect anything to do with directions. All we've heard about is the abyss, which doesn't make any sense to us. And I'm thinking, I can feel my brain overheating, but it's not helping. We went back to the cabin, no one there. Neither of these guys can help, and I assume by the way that we left the jail cell that the, the son has said all he's going to say. Grandma can't help. So back to the woods, I guess. This feels weird, though. Trial and error doesn't seem right, necessarily, because we're not getting any kind of clues. Every screen is different, and it always ends after three. Yet... We didn't go fully west, we might as well give it a go. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've yet to see anything that suggests, you know, uh, up, down, left, right, whatever. Here we are again. I mean, this screen is consistent at least, but that's not surprising. Hmm. We have just three directions. Curious if we go round in a circle as to what happens. Straight back to the bike again. Mm. This puzzle feels like it's missing something. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. It, it, uh, but it feels like it's missing something. I'm getting no confirmation as to going in the right direction. So how would I work out the overall direction if at any given turn it's wrong? I, I'm essentially having to guess but a combination of three moves which would hopefully lead me into the correct location. But 
Yoo-hoo, Midsummer Blowout. What's that in reference to? Midsummer. We haven't even started something yet. What are you on about? <laughs> I'm frozen. Oh, I've seen Frozen. I can't think of that bit. But anywho, hello. Good afternoon now. How are you doing? How are you feeling today? Um. Oh, it's the sauna guy. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Mm. Getting close to thinking I may have to eat here because I don't. I'm honestly stumped and I don't know where I'm going wrong, which isn't helping. And I don't really want to wander around these woods backwards and forwards all day. Nutella toast sandwich. I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, all I can think of is, you know, recap the same things again, see what's happening. I mean, I could get on the phone, but I don't see how that's going to help anybody. The people we could... Actually, who can we talk to on the phone? I have more things to say to you. Speak with you. Thoughtless one. I already asked him about that. This is... Does he want some... I don't picks? need to show that to him. <laughs> no, okay. I'm done here. Good. Do we want to lockpick? I don't need to show... No, okay. That's an idea. I wonder if he'll let us use his phone while we're here. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Hey, yeah. do you mind if I use this phone here? Sorry, that's not allowed. Damn it. That's why we had to do the thing earlier, I guess. Uh, what's here, actually? Oh my god. Lots of things. A medieval fortress near an ocean. Probably supposed to be somewhere in Europe. A medieval probably. fortress near an ocean, probably. So oh, it's the same thing again. Okay. A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. Uh, I, ooh, chairs. Not ooh, their peak the hours, it seems. Bulletin board files, fax machine. Fax machines, the pinnacle of modern technology. Oh yeah, this is set in ninety-five, and then I keep forgetting. Various that. notices and a wanted poster. It is useful. It, it explains the whole having to work around not using mobile phones. You know. Okay, but uh, is it? Hang on. Is there a way of seeing are uh, the numbers we can? No. Okay. I'll write down clues in this as I find them. Oh, if that guy gave me the creeps. I wonder what his agenda really is. There must be some way of saving Eileen, or I won't be able to live with myself. Okay. 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 Right. That's not helpful at all. Hmm. Yes, I'm thoroughly stuck. Um, we've made it to... Right, we spoke to the priest in there, and he said we have to... We've got this clue to go to an abyss. That's uh, that's basically... Um, it's all been about... Um, we have to stare into the abyss to cleanse ourselves. We, we've played the tape to the, to the priest who's in the back here, and he was like, Oh, I seem to have lost my way. I've been... He doesn't believe that we're talking to this... The guy in red is known as the Crimson One. He doesn't believe we spoke to him. But he mentioned the North Woods. Or North of the Woods, I think. So we now have a location of the Conwell Woods, but... I don't know what to do when I get here. She said, it's not much, I'll have to narrow it down. But we're just walking round and round in circles. So... Because every, every third screen leads us back here. There's seemingly no indication as to being on the right path. So I, I'm hoping it's not like a Sierra situation where we just literally have to, you know, just keep wandering around and around until we, we hit the right screen. Because that's a, you know, a billion T options. Uh, nothing. Uh, so far, all of these screens are just four directions, and this one has the uh, has the motorbike on it. Um, uh, I, I could try. Uh, 
it's inspected, but here we are. Have to re have to rewind the tape. It's a nice little detail until you have to do it more than once. This is William T. Price. My visions concerning my sons are I've watched. Oh, I can skip these little bits. Okay, that's fine. Turn on their backs. I've seen the history of the church. What this message is part of a fails. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old now heed these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to skip that last bit. I was trying to skip the one before. Anyway, that's that. So basically, that's our clue, staring to the abyss. We don't know where this abyss is. We're assuming it's something to connect it to the guy in red, you know, the crimson one. But that's about it. I mean, we could probably have a smoke. <laughs> sure, why not? There we go. See you right away. Well, that's it. Um, the the three lights led us. Uh, who uh, the, the 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 brother Nathan called them Lily. I don't know where Nathan is. I can't go back to their place anymore. Is there a well? Not anywhere I've seen. No. Because the only options we've got are Grandma's house. Which is literally speaking to grandma or go grandma or going up to the attic or the phone call actually I'll, I'll try the phone in a second see if someone random can help us out there um the sheriff's station which we've been to a couple of times the sheriff is useless lenny is not helpful uh we've shown him where we're going to apparently and the the priest also the same nothing more to say lakeside cabin was empty when we went we could always try back again since we've had a little more information maybe nathan's turned up and he'll tell us more about the woods worth a shot i guess Yeah, it's unlocked now, we just wander in. Oh yeah, that's the... For anyone that wasn't here, that's the picture of, of Lenny drowning Lily, which um, he apparently did under coercion. Yeah, this is Crimson Man, Lily and Nathan. Very lifelike. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Yes, yeah, we found that out at the beginning. Uh, long story short, Lily painted this because it was like, um... Oh, is the lake the abyss? Interesting. We'll have a look in a second. Um, yeah, Lily painted this uh, because it was a vision, essentially, of the future. She was convinced her visions had to come true, so she convinced her brother to do it. He, she said he were, she would um, she would tell the mother, or tell the parents that he'd been bad if uh, if he didn't help her sort of go through with her suicide essentially. Um, and that's what led us to the three lights because he believes he now speaks to Lily still and she is the three lights in the woods. Yeah, it's pretty dark to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, Conwell Lake where Lily Myers met her demise. Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. Mm -hmm. No, apparently not. What is, what's the, what do we want I'll a just borrow this for a while. Wait, what? Why? That's been there for ages. Why would we want it? The temperature looks normal here. Oh, it's going to be like a this guide? This should come in handy if I need to track temperature. Yes. Yeah, it was originally just a paint, painting of the lake, but we used some paint thinner on it and stripped it down, and that painting was underneath. It's not how paint thinner works exactly. Uh, 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 clicking too many buttons here. There we go. Right, okay. This might be it. We're going to head back to the woods and see if the temperature changes based on the screen. Exactly. Cold, cold spots on the forest. I mean, it's probably going to be pretty cold anyway. But that might be a difference. I don't know why. Don't, have we? I don't think we've encountered anything so far that suggests a temperature difference. But whatever. Um, see how it comes. There we go. Okay. Right. We're not stuck anymore. We're on a path. 
Let's go, people. So right here, it's... I don't know. Two-thirds. Okay. Still two-thirds. Oh, do you think it might be changing dependent on the point? I hadn't thought about the individual sort of screen locations, damn it. Well, this is lower than it was. Literally came of hot or colder, yeah. Crimson one is a ghost, yeah. So, it's true. I hadn't really considered that. But then again, he seems sort of... Um, well, we're not getting thrown back to the start either. That's nice. We're more than three screens in. Oh, oh, yep, temperature's going down. Right, okay, so we're heading east here, I think. Yes, okay, that's the one. Not north. East. South, nice, okay. We're getting there. Uh, yeah, it did. It does make sense that he's a ghost, I guess. But I just sort of um, he's been kind of weirdly sort of godly spiritual. I just I didn't really put him, you know, in the same category, I guess, because he just sort of seemed to appear in odd visions and such. I have to admit, I don't like this uh, grindy music in the background. But hopefully, we're not here much longer. And I guess it sets the scene. <gasps> Holy shit! My god, what is this place? Wow, a sea of flowers, interesting. Met her end. Someone left this message here for me. <laughs> that whole cold, yo. Sea of flowers. It's the red scythe flower. Must be hundreds of them here. Oh wow, the rare flower? Those are hundreds in this location. Oh. A oh. huge hole with no visible bottom. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So what's that? I can see something. Faintly. Big money spot. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, this is weird because we know these flowers are hallucinogenic. So are we really... Oh, hang on. What was that? Oh, just sea flowers. Message. Those things. Okay. What's that? See something faintly. You throw a match down? I don't want to burn that. I'm not saying burn it. I'm saying... You know? What's that? Met her end. Yes, yeah. Left a message for you, yes, but... Okay. And tase it, yeah. <laughs> and can we light the taser and throw it down? I don't want to zap that. Nah, damn it. Uh, can we throw the... I can see that, that action doesn't seem productive. You're not being helpful here. The temperature looks normal here. Oh. This thing should come in handy if I need to track temperature. Hmm. Let's throw some paint thinner down there. Why not? That action does No, okay. We can't sort of interact with it as such. Oh, hang on. We can... It's the red scythe flower. So much for being endangered. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um... Normal temperature of minus three, exactly. Um, at her end. I don't, I don't know as if it is an anagram, actually. But I also don't know what the hell we're meant to be doing. Because I can't even, like, walk into What's it. She'll just look at it. I can see something, faintly. So we need a torch? 
Go on, jump in. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is all we've got. Sea of flowers, sinkhole, message. Okay. Combine the sea of... Combine sea of flowers? What does that mean? Intense. Oh, they're making me a bit dizzy. Oh, okay. So it just means use them. You know, have a trip. Here we go. Greetings! You again. Me again. The problem is I question any kind of vision that has to be observed under influence of drugs. <laughs> it, it, is that really trustworthy? You better have some answers, Crimson One. All in due time. Your friend is being claimed by the darkness. She's standing on the brink of the abyss as we speak. Are you talking about Eileen? Yes. If you wish to save her, you must descend. Oh, did it say smell? Oh, I just looked at the, uh, the, the action, and I assumed it was the combine action. So I was like, oh, well, I've got nothing to combine it with. Oh, I must pay attention. More. Why? What is down there? The tribulation, the reflection of the soul. We call it the mending. Who's we? My kind, servants of the old god. To what end do you serve this god? What does your kind actually want? All we want is for you to take your medicine, Kathy. For you to grow and be happy. Medicine? If that's the case, why were all those people hurt? Lily? Jimmy? Grandpa? Dang, exactly. Um, uh, Nathan mentioned that he kept going on about Lily taking her medicine, but not this, you know, not the stuff she was normally on. You misunderstand. What one wants and what one is able to do are two different things. Happiness is not a one-way street. It cannot be given, only earned. Your grandfather understood that. He embraced it. Wait, you saw Grandpa? Oh yes, right here. He was a tortured soul, desperate for some kind of meaning after losing the light of his life. You, he sought the power below, the vessel of redemption. But Grandpa didn't make it, he failed. How could I succeed when he wasn't able to? He was so much stronger than me, so much braver. <laughs> Again, you have to remember this is 95. They didn't have mobile phones and certainly not ones with cameras on them. Is that what you believe? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think. But why me? Why are you making me do this? Because you so desperately need it, Kathy. You're haunted by your past, by all these painful memories long forgotten. They follow you like a shadow, pulling you down. They taint your every thought, <laughs> impulse, and deep desire. <laughs> Write it in the ink created from rare flowers. It's all red. <laughs> and then anyone who reads it can get high. It is foul to us. This is crazy. I could just walk away, get on my bike and drive, forget I was ever here. <laughs> exactly, yeah. There's nothing stopping you. <laughs> Just spar to him right in it. Boosh. A little lag. Okay. It's not flagging anything at this end, but let me know if it gets worse. It normally tells me if I'm missing stuff. But, uh... Right now. Yeah, right now it's showing me nothing. Not your end. Perhaps it's because we're both on the same internet, essentially. I'm streaming out, and it's having trouble keeping up. Eileen. 
I can't leave her like that. Oh, I don't even get an option. Okay, down she goes. I see now why he speaks so highly of you. Down the rabbit hole. Oh my god. Okay. I like some Silent Hill shit. Surreal. It looks like grandma's, but different. <laughs> hey, where'd all my things go? My pockets are empty. <laughs> the man cave. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to say how convenient, but um, I guess it would it really make a difference here. Gears are moving behind the window. Am I inside some huge, bizarre machine? There is some real sort of Silent Hill 5 stuff here. Guessing you're lagging by the comments. Ah, uh, okay. You could always try refreshing if you're on a console. Normally just um, uh, pause and unpause and uh, it'll... No, no, if you're on PC or phone you can pause and unpause and it'll reset. Or you can um, or you can reset by exiting and coming back again, but that sometimes gives you a new advert, which is kind of annoying. The Batcave. Exactly. With uh, who needs photos when you can just have flat screen tellies. Video is hanging. You'll probably need to refresh yours then. It seems to be fine to send. I'm not losing any frames as far as it's concerned. Oh yeah, right. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is giving me some real sort of. Uh... Oh, how do we get here? Oh right, okay. Uh, the the man in red. We we sniffed a flower. The man in red came up a an escalator, and told us um, a bunch of mumbo jumbo about you know fixing things and you know standing on the precipice and Eileen needs our help, and uh, we said look we could just walk away, or we can come down here and try and fix things and get Eileen better. That's what we're doing. We didn't have an option, to be fair, but you know. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. Homecoming, that's it. Silent Hill 5, Homecoming. No sketchbook <laughs> with drugging, no. <laughs> that did not come to pass, unfortunately. Uh... Paintings resemble TV static. Guess the reception down here isn't too good. Aha, see? She's kept her sense of humour. That's important. Ooh, a sign in book. Looks like Grandpa and Eileen have both signed already. Hmm, okay. No dial tone. <laughs> well, I didn't honestly expect one, but I, you know, thought it was worth looking. There was a pen hidden inside. Oh, that's handy. Let's sign a book. We're probably not meant to, actually. This is probably like a really bad thing, but, you know, you sign your name and you stay here forever. But whatever. Do it. Like they all have the same handwriting as well. What the? It went again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when he was here yesterday. Exactly, yes. Yeah, she fell into... Uh, he fell into like that coma when the priest um, grabbed her, didn't she? We have no idea what it was. Oh wait, hang on. These are the trials in the pages. Something about facing a dark version of ourself, maybe. I say You're maybe. not supposed to be here. <gasps> dark us. Oh my god, hang on. How could she get even darker? More edgy. Who are you? You look just like me. I should ask you the same thing, imposter. Do you like what we did to Mom? Don't you just want to kill her sometimes? I know I do. <laughs> You're a complete lunatic, aren't you? Uh, what the hell are you talking about? We know... Oh, this is the problem with sometimes where games... We know what's happening here. We know this is like a trial of sorts, but she's confused to hell and she's like, What? And she wants to try and deny it. No, that's not true, but it's going to be like, you know what I'm talking about. It's secretly, deep down, you hate your mother and you want her dead. All this kind of stuff. Well, the mother's not here, we know that. Um, I'll just tag along with her naivety. What the hell are you talking about? 
<laughs> you don't know anything, do you? Now, I'd love to stay in chat, doppelganger, but I have more important things to do. Ta-ta. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where's your where's your goatee? Ride the elevator, let's go. There's nothing else going on here. Oh, okay. Are we on one? We're on one, okay. Two it is. Oh wow. Oh, okay. This is the uh this is the black hat black hats. I wanna keep calling black cats, but the black hats bar. Yeah, um, where our father was a, he was part of a biker that gang. That thing looks alive. And, uh, oh, I wish his eyes followed us around the room or something, that'd be cool. Uh, so this looks like the bar, but it's been, uh, pretty beat up. I don't even want to think about what happened there. Jukebox. Jukebox. Broken by the looks oh. of it. Nothing is lit up. Yes, it's... Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Mom? You're here? No. Think she about it. always here? Is this the cause of her illness? Well, no, because she wasn't catatonic like everyone else, was she? She was just not it's quite It's mom. Right. She's being held up against the wall by something sticky. Mm. I have to get her loose somehow. Mom, can you hear me? Don't worry, I'll find a way to get okay. you out of here. Right, okay. We need to go find something to unsticky fire her with. Sleepy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> English is her second language. <laughs> yeah. She was just clearing her throat. We didn't hang around for the, for the actual sentence. More gears grinding away. Something about them makes me uneasy. Well, I can't think why. Oh. I have nothing in my inventory. Oh, except a pen. <gasps> Did I pen her out of it? Oh, that doesn't even highlight or something, so I don't know what it is. I doubt I'm going to have to use the pen to get Mother out, so uh, let's go look on the third floor. See what's going on. Oh, I, I'll think about that. Uh, like, next time. I'll try and do that. So I assume something heavy has to be on it to, uh, to do something, but... But it doesn't sort of highlight it as a spot, so I can't use anything with it. That's a bit weird. More gears grinding. Oh, okay, it makes you uneasy. Nothing yeah. in this place appears to be tuned. Oh, that's why everyone down here is crazy. The telly's out. <laughs> what grinds your gear? <laughs> An actual piano. Uh, a broken link. Interesting. Basket. Okay. The chain looks broken there. Okay. Oh, whatever. Is any castle crank? Looks like the crank is connected to a mechanism for raising the cage. No use. The chain is broken. I'll need to fix it first. I can honestly say that in, in in this situation, my first thought would not be, let's fix it. It would be, how the fuck do I get out? Okay, let's have another quick look around the first floor. Now we have the hole and the missing link. <laughs> well, see, there's, there's... Oh, hang on. Okay, there's chains here. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. Okay. What can be highlighted? Window, static, static, lamp. 
What are the legs for? Will the lamp give us anything more? A small desk lamp. Lock pick with pen. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, don't just like click and drag. Use the pen on the paddles. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Jesus, that voice line is a bit loud. <laughs> that combination makes no sense. All right, calm down. It's not the book. It's not the phone. The paintings resemble TV static. I guess the reception down here isn't good. Okay. Right. Nothing going on there. Okay. We've got chains here. We've got padlocks. We can't open the padlocks. We can't pick up the chains of any kind. We need a chain. Oh my god, yes! I completely forgot about that cutscene. These are the trials. It was Mother. Yes, yeah, it was... Uh, oh god, because we don't have it on us now. I can't remember. It was... Uh, is it Redemption of the Mother? Use the gears to break the chains. I can only look at the gears at the moment, but maybe if we can get some, if, like if we can get the chains loose or something, maybe that can help. Close the door. Yeah, the jukebox, jukebox again. Broken by the looks of it. Do I have an antenna? Oh, I didn't mean to skip that, but it, we've already heard it. Um, yeah. So the, there was something about. Uh, oh yeah, and then there, there was that word I didn't know. Um, essentially, for redemption. Was it redemption of the sun? Uh, hmm. Absolution of the father. I think it was the second one. What was the first one? Uh, it, it was mother, but I can't remember the, the term beforehand. The only thing we got is a pen. So let's just try that. <laughs> No use. It's not sharp enough. Okay. Not sharp enough. Uh, it's mom. Yes. I have to get her loose. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. What's this here? There's some blood on this wall. Good. Oh, we get to it's rip it. It's too tough. I might need something sharp to get it open. Pen on the wall. Hidden inside the wall. Oh my god. Phew. Creepy. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Just use the pen on the mum. <laughs> Got it. Right, now we have a scalpel. Even better. Find scalpel with mum. That sounds like it could go horrendous. Contrition of the, the sun, that was it, thank you. There you go, Mom. Are you okay? <laughs> No! Taser! That won't help! Seriously? You'd rather stab her with a scalpel than a pen? Redemption of the mother. Solution of the Father, Mission of the Son. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Um, right, okay. So we're going full symbolism here. I can't just say what the fuck's happening while you're trying to kill me. And <laughs> I don't think pens make very good antennas. <laughs> we'll probably get them to go, no, it's not antennary enough. Uh, so, you know, or it's just like, I had no choice. I had to put you away. That means metaphorically stabbing, stabbing you right I now. I had no choice. I had to put you away. You started hurting yourself. You started hurting me. I forgive you. <laughs> oh, God. Get me out of this place. No, that's not the point. Oh wow, she's actually just dead as well. Okay. Ooh, a refrigerator. Lovely. Oh god, and all the stuff growing out of it. scarab thing in there. You got it. 
Need to go hang her. Exactly. There's also something here on the door itself. A magnet. It's a bridge. Oh my god. Oh, oh Jesus. Use your heart. Okay, yes. Refrigerator magnets in the shape of Scrabble tiles. The score values are off, though. I remember because the game I played with E the other day. Oh, God. Right, okay. Pokes in jar, an inkier heart, rule me nemesis. Yes, this is the thing I made, like, quick reminders for. So th that's in the right order. I'm not sure what to make of it all. But what does she mean by... Refrigerator magnets in the score of pokes in jar, not sure what to... Could it uh, be code? Like we have to remember. I need a, I need a fresh bit of paper. I normally have a book for like storing all my hints. I haven't bothered looking it up for ages. Okay. She says the codes are off, which suggests that. Oh my god. Uh, like the numbers are off. No oh, cat. Um, so do we I'll just copy all them down? we add them up? Like per word or something? That would be nine numbers? But to what end? I'll just, I'll just do that. I'll do it now and just save some time later. Why not? Okay, uh, what was that? 8, 10, 18. Yeah, exactly. I, I guess that's what she's going for. Like, they don't make any sense. But I can't interact with them in any way. Uh, is that a, uh, 14? I'll just write these down quickly. It won't take long to add them up. Uh... 12, 17, 7, 15. Inky heart, something to do with 10. Maybe. But why, why Scrabble tiles? What's the numbers got to do with it? That's the only reason I'm writing them down, just in case. It, I'll probably have to come back something later or. You know, it's going to be more complicated, but just in case. Uh, so that's it. Yeah, that's Oops, if I write numbers properly as well, so I can read them later. Oh my god, what's that? 10, 15, 20, 21. There we go. Okay. We have nine numbers. Whether they're useful, I don't know. Take it from there. Okay, later, man. Uh, exit. Thank you. Oh, something new. Postcard. The sinkhole, Conwell Woods. Okay. Oh, it's, a, it's a sinkhole. No, it's not just, you know, any old hole. It's a sinkhole. Hi, baby girl. Oh, it's okay. It's from my dad. Living the life over here in Mexico. I have a new family now and I've forgotten all about you. I don't regret leaving you for a second since your mum was a whore and I never loved you anyway. All the best, dad. <laughs> all the best. Oh, Jesus. You killed Mom. Yes. That wasn't Mom. It was some kind of monster. We're all monsters to you, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> Let's, yeah, yeah, is a word. Maybe, um, maybe. Kill I don't her, know all Dad. languages, to be fair. No, it can't be. Who's your daddy now, bitch? Hmm. Absolution of the father. I have to... Stay away from me! Forgive him? I've... Yeah, I've got no control. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Fall down.
Okay. <laughs> I've been angry with you for as long as I can remember. I've hated you more than words can say. I will never forgive you, Dad. But I'm done being angry. Oh, okay. I'm done with letting you have an impact on my life. The way of showing we've moved on emotionally was to dump him into a metaphorical hole under some floorboards. Interesting. Hello, daughter. I should have done this a long time ago. There are so many things I wish I could say to you. You have two brothers and a sister here. They always ask about you, their big sister in the USA. Leaving you was the biggest mistake I ever made. Please forgive me, Dad. But again, what's the point of rewriting that? Does it really mean anything? This is uh, this could be completely made up like everything else around here. Is the dad supposed to be dead? She thought he was dead, but no one actually knows. It, he Apparently he, uh, he used to talk about leaving and going off to Mexico. Up him in a hole. In a hole, exactly. It's uh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's holes all the way down. Um, yeah, so we believe he's probably in Mexico. Uh, we don't actually know. It's, it's not been confirmed. And again, like I said, this is made up, so its poignancy could be completely lost. There we go. Interesting. Okay. So, oh yeah, we didn't actually look at this. <laughs> I got too caught up. It's the red scarab I found in the refrigerator. When I shake it, I can hear something moving inside. But it's a key for a padlock. It has a hard shell. I'll need something heavy to break it. Oh, something heavy to break it. Uh, I don't see how those things work together. Okay. Might as well be dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. Right, maybe... I'm just going back in here because we saw our other self go in here. I'm just curious as to what... Where ends. did that thing go? The body is gone. Okay, cool. Alright, okay. Yes, I clicked exit. It said exit when I pressed it. Thank you. But maybe you're right with the gears. Maybe they can break the scarab. Kira heart? Uh, heart scarab. Oh, Inkia! <laughs> oh! Damn it, I missed completely. I don't see how those things work together. No, okay. Yeah, hard. Okay, yeah. I see where you're going. <laughs> I was like, who's Kira? Um, <laughs> he's gone to live at the farm in Mexico. Exactly. Maybe we can uh, access these gears here. I don't see how those things work together. No, okay, fair enough. Maybe not. Look, there's something heavy. What have we encountered that's heavy? Hmm. That combination makes no sense. It makes some sense if you're thinking along the same lines as me. Three, straight up. Yeah. see what the purpose of <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> maybe I don't see how those things work together okay it has a hard shell I'll need something heavy to break it <laughs> There's always that possibility, to be fair. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Lamp? We could try. And there's clearly nothing up here. None of this interactive stuff is useful. Let's try again. Back down to one. Hang on. 
let's have a look here. Bring the land in. Yeah, okay. Um, we could try the jukebox. Yeah, while we're here, I'll try the land, then we'll go back up to the second floor. Either that, or it's going to be. I don't see how those things work together. No. Okay. A small desk lamp. Ah, oh, there's your problem. It's a small desk lamp. Not capable of being big and heavy. Um, we'll try the jukebox on the second floor. It also have something to do with the head. I mean, you know, I don't see why, but that thing the skull. looks alive. I can't use them together. I don't think. I think I've tried. That action them. doesn't seem. No. Okay. I didn't hear an impact. Does it even have a bottom? Uh, no. The chandelier is not an interactive object, and I don't think there's anything down there that would the automatically. The jukebox, broken by the looks. Uh, you know, adhere to it. That combination makes no sense. I don't even want to think about what happened. Maybe. That action doesn't seem. Maybe we slam it in the fridge door. That's what I was thinking about with the elevator. And she, then she said, uh, "She said no, it doesn't mean anything." I was like, "No, elevators are heavy." That combination makes no sense. Nothing else in there. Hmm, so we can look at this again. Lips and jar, an inkier heart, rule me nemesis. So if the pen and the heart thing go together, an inkier heart, I don't understand where the hopes in jar come from. Or the rule me nemesis. I mean, that may be coming next. Hopes in jar. I missed something entirely. Bloody wall. Um. Do we use the? We suck up some I don't blood see how pen. those things no. work together. Let's hope we can write in blood. It's fairly sharp. Might have some other uses apart from writing. I don't know. Uh, don't think we're looking for something heavy to break this scarab with, I assume. Although I guess there's no. It's an old-fashioned pen. Plenty of ink inside. I guess there's nothing to suggest it. You know, I've done that already. It has a hard shell. Hard shell, something heavy it's to break it. It's the red scarab I found in the refrigerator. When I shake inside. it, I can hear something moving inside. Yeah, I guess it, it doesn't have to be... Nothing else in there. ...that, you know, breaking this is the next step. So I could be missing something else. Which says it could... Oh, of course, it could have other uses, like, you know, the wall. That's what we use that for. Hmm. On the wall on the left. In here. Oh, left the fridge. Nothing shows up. It's just the the wall here, the pool of blood, and the refrigerator. We've already done that bit because that's where we found the scalpel, which we no longer have. That must have been in the dead body. And we've got the pool of blood and the refrigerator. Oh, off the fridge, not on the fridge. Sorry. Smash it with the book. All about that as well. It's a possibility. Yeah, so here we've got the sofa. Just more gears. More gears. It's the grinding, so maybe these ones are open. That action doesn't seem productive. Okay. Oh, let's wander this way. Skull, I don't see well I don't even And again she says hang on. Can we use anything for that the combination? Sofa? That action does. No, okay. Mm. Mm. Maybe. Bless you. keep going to just like click on a, an object and move it rather than that combination makes no sense maybe the phone sometimes they're they're a bit hefty aren't they that action doesn't seem no okay no dial no, dial no. book
just us. Throw it down the hole. You know what, to be honest, I haven't tried because I thought, well, how's that going to help us? Uh, but is it, at this stage, it's all worth a try. So you never know, so bear with me. Can't go out. What's odd here is, I feel like, what else can we do? I feel like we're just running, literally running out of things to, to interact with. And somehow still not getting it. <laughs> I can't use the the hole myself. I can't like jump down. I don't want to throw that in there. I don't want to throw that in. Right. Okay. But she recognizes it as something to throw in. So maybe something will go down there, unless of course it's just oh, you know, standard response. More gears grinding away. It makes you uneasy. Yes. Yeah. Nothing That's in it. this place appears to be tuned. Tuned. A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. We can't do anything with the cage or the casket right now. The chain looks broken there. That action doesn't seem pretty. <laughs> Just gonna fill around. That combination much in there. makes no sense. We oh, and we. That action doesn't. Nope. I don't see. Nope. That action doesn't seem... Nope. That combination... Nope. Okay. We I don't see how those things work together. No, we can't. What's here? We've got broken link and a crank. Casket, gears, excellent. Static. Static is weird, but I guess it's something to interact with. I was thinking about that, but my only thought is that it must be from the chain down down on the first floor. That's the, the padlock. But I thought, well, I can't open the padlock. Maybe the scarab, because she says there's something in it. Maybe the scarab has the key to the padlock. So I've got to open that first. That was my thinking. Otherwise, I don't know how to do it. We've already tried the we've already tried the pen on the padlock. We did. That was um. Is it just chained door? The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. Uh, yes, that's how we signed the book. We could try it again. Basically, does something new. I've signed it already. Right. Okay. Yeah. A small desk lamp. Got the chain door. Right. Okay. So the chains don't even interact. It's literally just the padlocks. Windows static, static lamp, phone book. I'll just try these on padlock. That combination makes. I swear it makes more sense than you're giving us credit for. So, on the fridge we've got those symbols. We can't use... not symbols, sorry, they're letters. Travel letters. We can't use anything there because we don't have an inventory. So literally we just look at it. We won't open the fridge because there's nothing else in there. box doesn't work. If it doesn't work, the hole doesn't work. There are two padlocks here. One requires a key, the other is a combination lock. Oh, so we do need numbers at some point. Oh my god. Oh, the code is near. Oh my god, okay, so that's where the numbers come into it. I just didn't look at them? I thought I had. The my observation fails me again. Excuse me, pen. I'd like to write. There we go. Okay, it's just near. Right. Now we go up to the letters on the fridge. Oh, it's next here. How strange. Find out what near is. Put that in there. That gives us a padlock to use with the cage. Right. Okay. We're on a roll. We're moving again. Scarab the window. I did try the scarab in the window. She just like I can't do that, or it doesn't make sense, or some rubbish like that. Love it when a plan comes together. Yes, if only the plan was what we had originally wanted to do. Get a lamp, get someone to pick the lock. Nope, unfortunately not. Uh, we don't need to admit we're looking at it again. Okay. So. Okay, so all the ends are three, at least. That's good. So. Three. 
Uh, E's two, yes they are, okay. A's are one. And R is five. That's standard, that's good. Three, two, one, five, there we go. Thank you very much. So when that got mentioned earlier, the actual words mean nothing. It's the Scrabble letters of sorts. So why was it mentioned at all? You know, I mean, it's an interesting detail, you know, that that, that comes back again. But it's not a clue of any kind, because those numbers are, are unconnected, they're arbitrary, you know. Three, two, one, five. Ching. Padlock. Yoink. This padlock might be useful. It's going to be very useful. Lock and chain. I don't think I need to use the chain itself for anything right now. To confuse you, maybe that may have literally been it. But she just happens to know she doesn't need the chain, despite the fact that um, we have no idea what's coming. I think the. Scarab has the key that for the other padlocks, so getting through that door must be our ultimate goal. I didn't really know that. But I reckon the padlock here can be used with this broken link. To hold the chain together, we can raise the cage again, hopefully. That should work. Operate the crank. Ka-ching! So, let's have a look what's inside doesn't open, but I can see a keyhole. Keyhole? I don't see how those things work together. Excuse me, cat. Love it if you didn't tear the place apart. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, hang on. Indentations? Oh. Uh, about that. <laughs> Use the heart scarab with the indentations. Right, yes, because then we can drop the cage on it, and it will break it. Ooh. And pick it up again. Exactly, coffins always bode well in any situation. Right, so let's grab that key. <laughs> yeah, turns out it's made of, like, wax or something. No. Ooh, what does it say? It's the small key that I found inside the scarab. There's a keychain attached with a red heart followed by Ma. Ma. Okay. Um. It's a tiny casket as well, so that never, you know, bodes well. Can't open it. A small it. casket is placed in the middle of the cage. But she can see a keyhole? So is it this key here? It is, okay. Oh, the boy! Do you see? Oh, it's her boy. Maybe. I don't want to see. Right, okay. Do you see? This is the audio. Is it wrong or just annoying? I see. Just bad. Fair enough. Okay. Do you know who I am now? Yes, yes, we see. I don't like this. I want to go home. <laughs> Mommy. You'll never go home. We won't let you. When you threw me away, this place took me in, nurtured me. Oh, this was the son we were talking about. See, when it mentioned son before, I automatically thought of the priest. Because I completely forgot about this altogether. Do you regret what you did? Uh, no, I don't have done nothing wrong. The sadness took away part of me, eliminating the possible future. Part of me does. I wish things could have been different. I couldn't repeat the mistakes my parents made. I'll go with that one, to be fair, because by the sounds of it, she would have been a terrible mother. <laughs> I just couldn't repeat the mistake my parents made. I mean, she 
and also at this timeline she was in the thick of it. It was not a good time for her to have a child. Oh no, I, I bet it probably doesn't matter either, really. I couldn't bear to put a child through life in a broken, damaged family like I was. Apparently so, yes. You're just here to test me, to try and break me. Ooh, oh, oh, my face. It's Lily? Good. The heart must be pure. Curse her face, <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What's that on your face, Lily? This is a fleeting moment, but I've seen what comes ahead. Who are you? Oh. The dweller in the lake, the conduit. The curse of Ur. <laughs> Big red lips. Lily? Yes. I feel like I know her, but something cracks inside. I don't understand any of this. What do you want from me? I have to admit, I feel like um, reality and storytelling is kind of circling in the drain at the moment. Only what you want from yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. We are nearing the end. He is ready to see you now. Who is? You know who, Kathy. Uh, the only other person who's here, technically, I guess. Your grandfather? Thank you. That's the abortion baby key. I mean, this really, that really does have like a Silent Hill kind of vibe to it, to be fair. It's the kind of thing they would have. Oh, I was like, what is this? We just got back in the elevator, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I hate it when they do that. What is this? You know. I, no, I don't. I not, just don't answer the damn question. There we go. Two chains down. Was that pen that lit? Oh, no, it was. Okay, it opened the bit in the wall, but it was mostly just for finding a book. Damn, it's locked. I don't see a keyhole. It must be bolted from the other side. What? Uh, okay. What's this? Oh, no. I'm buzzing away about something. Bolted from the other side? Well, what's the point of the chains and padlock on this side then? How are we meant to get through? Both okay. chains have been removed from the door. Yes, yes, they have. Stab it with a pen. I don't see how those things work together. Uh, there's... Hang on. Hot spots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lock and, two lock and, locks and chains? Oh, now she wants a chain. Oh, is that the other okay. lock? Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? Oh. I don't see how those things work together. Oh. Um. Chain on elevator. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're gonna somehow. Um, we're going to padlock the two chains together and gank the door off. Well, that's the thing. You would assume it would be locked from the outside because the padlock's this side. Then it's got a bolt from the other side, so who locked it? Inside or out, or both? At which point do you really want to go through? Put the chain on the door. Attach the chain with... No use. I'll need something to... Okay, yes, yes, all right. With the padlock. There we go, okay. All right, we should be good to go. In. Oh, this is a, a nice way for them to have to not animate it. We can just be off, off screen. You! You have ruined everything! Okay, how am I not you, though? Didn't we ruin everything? Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? Uh, the mirror mirror routine is getting tiring. You're persistent, I'll give you that. You again, I'm getting sick of your bullshit. 
I've got to be honest, I'll probably just go with you again. <laughs> you again. I'm getting sick of your bullshit. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You are nothing but a fearful little child, and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Get the hell out of my way. No! Yeah. This is the dark version of ourselves. You look a bit pale. No, I'm the original. I am. This can't be happening. What? I'm speechless. That's a first. <laughs> okay. The first time you've been run out on by yourself. No. It can't be. Grandpa! How is this a... Uh, a surprise. His name is in the book. You know he's here. I'm surprised. So Eileen good to isn't see here, you, Kathy. Hmm. Gotta... Is it really you? Surprise You've been here head. for all this time. It hasn't been that long, from my point of view. Oh my God, I know this guy. Um, maybe he isn't Emmett at the bar, but this guy's definitely in Unavowed. But he could have also been Emmett from the bar. That's uh, that's last episode. You look exactly <laughs> um, the same. Yeah, you know, stream. You haven't aged at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's surprised all the time, despite the crazy surroundings. But how is this even possible? You're you're dead. We buried you. You don't have to worry about that now, Kathy. You saw. You just saw the ghost of a woman who drowned in like the seventies. I've missed you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. I found out how you tried to get me back from Mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Although, considering the fact that all this happened, it's pretty best if she wasn't there. She didn't have to put up with it, you know? Exactly. We can all be together in death. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Do you want to go back to your rotting corpse? I'm afraid that's not possible. I chose to remain here. So we could meet one last time. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You didn't get him back. He's, he's here. He's not back anyway. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. Really? Based on what we saw at the start, I'm not sure that's worth being proud of, but to be fair, she has redeemed herself quite well here. Oh no! <laughs> well, the the stream seems to be going okay. You can always catch up later if you need to. Could well be Limbo. I mean, it's all reference to a god, but, you know, who knows? This, this is so unfair! This fucking sucks. Yep, she's showing her maturity right here. <laughs> I don't like it. It's unfair. I know, darling. I know. But why are you here then? Is it just another test? No, the tests are over, Kathy. I'm breaking all the rules just by being here. What rules? <laughs> How are you breaking them? We have worked so hard to make this happen. You can end the cycle. Stop the suffering. <laughs> Death rules. <laughs> but she hasn't played battleships yet. This whole place needs to be ripped away, separated. That red fiend has no intention of letting your friend go. The only way to save her is to destroy this place. What are you talking about with cracks in it? <laughs> That's completely out of the blue for me. It's oh, I see, because I completely missed this previous one about uh, smooth as a baby's bum. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I was just like, baby's bum has a big crack in it. Yes, I guess it does. <laughs> oh my god. True, he would. Suddenly babies. Yeah. What do I have to do? 
You have to finish what I started. Ascend and burn them all. Flowers? Maybe the whole thing is literally just a drug trip? Yes, the red ones above feed this place. Make them lick the flames. Yeah. Hurry, now before he sees us. Oh, and there we go. Wait! Don't go! He went incorporeal and died. Or disappeared. He's already dead. But you know I what? I need mean. to go back up. I need to get out of here. Okay. See, that, that's some good solid hinting I like there. <gasps> oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Alright, let's just... Uh, oh. Oh, use. I don't want to look at it. Why do I want to look at it? Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. Okay. Seems easy enough. It's too humid. The lighter alone won't be able to ignite them. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. paint thinner. That should be enough. Tease them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thankfully, tasers do not set things alight. <laughs> it could be a real problem. <laughs> Oh, okay. Major forest fire raging at Conwell Woods. The cause of the blaze has yet to be determined. But the latest reports say that the fire has been successfully contained. Largely thanks to the local lake, which provided ample water for the dowsing efforts. Over to you, Mark. Hmm. <laughs> Casual, yeah, exactly. In these times of climate change, we're burning forests oh, down. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Or woods or whatever. You're back. We were worried about you. Oh, thank God it actually worked. Are you okay, E? <laughs> Thank you, Loch Ness. I think so, but I feel a bit different. Oh, excuse me. Yeah? You were out for a long time. Do you remember anything? I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. You've lost sound. Can everyone else hear everything that's going on? I get very little feedback here. You have sound. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's contained, except for the fact that it's still a raging inferno outside. <laughs> Although it also looks a bit like a, a bit like a couple of eyes and a big mouth. Kind of evil. I'm sorry, I don't know why you've lost sound. Uh... It appears to be running okay. Not that you can hear me say that, because you've lost sound. Hang on, let me just type. Oh, you're back. Okay. I shan't bother typing then. Back to the game. Welcome back. <laughs> um. All oh right. Yeah. Sorry. Viking. I'm not sure what happened next. Things are a bit blurry, but I had a strange dream with a shimmering girl watching over me. It felt like she kept me safe somehow. Then I woke up on this couch. It must have been your guardian angel. Mm. I think so, too. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're okay. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you Ooh. found me and got Isaac arrested. A grandmother? Yes, about that poor man. The sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. He burst into flames. No? No. He hung himself. Okay. Well, <laughs> couldn't happen to a nicer zealot. Ooh. Welcome home, son. Ooh. It's not a diaper. <laughs> it's his scarf or whatever the uh, actual term for that is. It's uh... Part of his religious I guess vestments, he I guess. Grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. Mm, I guess everyone's a victim at some point if you want to narrow it down enough. 
but it's how they choose to uh, express that that's the issue. At least we stopped him from hurting any more people. Exactly. So, I guess this really is goodbye. Why would you? <laughs> well, it always was goodbye, to be A fair. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, I feel different. Yeah, me too. Do you think any of it was real? I don't know, E, but I hope we managed to stop it, once and for all. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half-decent team. <laughs> Maybe that'd be hilarious. Really? You do? Well, they just sort of faded into obscurity, didn't they? And um, God knows how Nathan's going to be now because Lily's definitely gone for good. And the mother, we just didn't speak to her again. She didn't. Well, turn except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. Try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there will be a next time? I smell a sequel! There we go. The ching The end. There's always a next time. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> History is just one thing after another. Wow. Written, designed, and programmed by one guy also did the visual effects I guess makes sense well there we go Kathy Rain sorted we're done I have to admit that uh, I think altogether that's probably a lot longer than um, than it should have taken <laughs> Kathy Rain the next time <laughs> then after that the next next time a pause thank you thank you still didn't get a date no maybe that would be um Maybe if there is a sequel, you know, that could be a thing. But, um, no. He was useful. Goldfarb, that was his name. Franklin Goldfarb. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, yeah, it was interesting. Um, yeah, I, I looked up the, um... Oh, what's it? Um, time to beat or something like that. It's a, it's a essentially a, a, it's a website that lists. Um, just turn that down slightly. There we go. Um, a website that lists uh, how long it should take to complete it. You know, a game based on sort of average uh, times that people, you know, up upload. And uh, this was between sort of a full completion which I don't know how you can do anything but fully complete it, because it was like, you know, story, and then it was with side quests or something like that. I was like, well, I don't even know if there are any side quests, but whatever. Um, I guess maybe including scenes you don't have to see to complete the game. Um, that was Charlie Twitcher. <laughs> I miss that. I'm not reading these. Um, but, um, yeah, that was like... You know, fully complete was like between six and seven hours, and I, I'm pretty sure we're somewhere in the region of like eight or nine. So, you know, we're a little behind, but that's fine. That's okay. We're uh, we're done. It was good. It was worth doing. Uh, it ticks several boxes for me. It was we struggled at the end, or at least definitely I struggled at the end. Uh, I'm certainly glad that you guys were here to help, <laughs> but. It, it, it suffered a little bit from that usual, you know, there's a very specific um, order of things and if you, you know, you just have to go around until you pick up that one thing you missed. Uh, oh, fair enough, yes. Yeah, that's, that's possible. Um, thank you. Um, but, uh, oh, this was made with uh, Adventure Game Studio, interesting. I, I thought about that earlier. Um, but yeah, it's... It, um, Kaylin Leafshade. Oh, interesting. Anyway, um, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah, um... Oh? Oh my god, he's not gone! Well, that's not really a twist, to be fair. <laughs> I kind of expected that at some point. I think it's a, it would have been a bigger twist if that didn't happen. But, you know. He wa oh, he wasn't pale. Was that a thing? I didn't notice. Maybe he's come back. He's been released. Hmm. Interesting. Well, there we go. Um, anyway, yeah, it, it, um, it was generally quite good. It didn't have, like, a hint system as such, but it, it seemed to flow quite well. It, 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 I think it worked solidly, um, except for, you know, the occasional one or two points. Beyond that, everything was quite nicely signposted, you know, in the order in which you're meant to be doing things and, and how it goes. Um, it was fully voice acted, which is always a bonus. It saves me having to do a lot of reading uh, and all voices, which um, is never something I really want to try doing. Um, and it, the voice acting wasn't bad either. I mean, it's not like the best in the world, but it, I've certainly heard a lot worse. The Crystal Dome. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Now that is a twist. <laughs> Lenny gets possessed. <laughs> and you spurned me, Kathy. Curse you. Um, but yeah, it it worked well. Um, it's relatively modern, consider uh, despite the, uh, the graphic style. But that's fine. That, I don't think that puts. It certainly doesn't put me off, and I don't think it sort of uh, holds the game back in any way. But um, yeah. Anyway, that, that's anyway. Jesus, we're up to like nearly three hours now. It's crazy. Um, well, it's crazy for me anyway. It's a standard day for some streamers, but whatever. That's all good. Um, okay, yes. You know what? There we go. We're done. Okay, yeah, well, um, next stream will be, because what will be today? Thursday. Unless I randomly feel like doing something, which is a possibility with, um, with the weekends the way they are sometimes. We don't know. Um, next stream is Tuesday, I guess. It will be another game. Uh, it'll have to be, obviously, because we run out of this one. Um, probably another adventure game. I plan to maybe start picking up um, a cup. I could try and maybe run like two games a week, you know, sort of like a uh, sort of alternate them. But I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I understood what you meant, but thank you. Um, but yeah, um, we'll, we'll have to see. I'll go through my library, see what's there and what's what's to be doing, and. Um, so it, it, uh, it'd either be an adventure game or it might be an RPG. I'm erring on the side of some of the old RPGs. If I can get them to function properly. Um, I had a bit of a, a struggle with uh, with windowing on, on one of them. Because uh, a, a lot of the old games, if you buy them, I'm like GOG. They're, they're built to work on new systems, but they don't take any modern ideas into account. So uh, they like to just completely hog the system and, and go full screen and because, you know, that's just what he did back in the day, um, and it uh, just steals all your windows. It's lovely. Um, so, uh, you know, if I can get something working, I, I might go with that at some point, but probably another adventure game, actually. Uh, I've got a lot of them to get through, so I think I'll keep them for Tuesdays, and if I want to vary it up, I'll do that on a Thursday. And, um, yeah. Uh, if anything else happens in between, you know, I'll put it out there. That's that doesn't matter. Anyway, yes. Lost Odyssey, no. <laughs> Well, first of all, that's on Xbox, Jesus. Um, God, I really do have to get to the end of that, but uh, I think it'd be a bit weird to jump in at, like, you know, sort of nine-tenths of the way through the game. It'd be a bit odd. But um, anyway, right, waffling away. Yes, thank you all for being here. I, I really appreciate it. It's good to see you all. Um, GG, thank you. And, um, yeah, it, uh, it, was, it was great fun. I really appreciate you being here, uh, but never feel compelled to be. But otherwise, I hope to see you again next time for Random Game, whatever it will be. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, take care. Have a good day, everybody. Uh, or, you know, night or morning or whatever it is for you, wherever you may be if you see this at a different time. And, um, yeah, just uh, just look after yourselves, and I'll see you all next time. Right. Bye, everybody.